I'm getting that nuts on the on the nose. Wait, nuts on the nose. I didn't say that. This is what the kids all like. This is the the bourbon barrel age imperial pastry stout. This is the collab with Bottle Logic, the pastry stout wizards and I'm really excited to get into this one. I uh, the, the adjunct list here is gonna be interesting because I don't think I've had anything like this before. This one has pistachios, vanilla, and lactose. Okay, it's, it's one of those beers. 12.8% and I keep seeing Spumoni. Spumoni in Kip's notes here. So I grew up on Spumoni. What is it, a pistachio ice cream? It's like Neapolitan but with like pistachio ice cream. I think it's an Italian Italian ice cream, but uh, I'm excited. I haven't had anything like that in a while. Notes of rich fudge, cream, and spumoni. I'm down. So if you have a nut allergy, stay away from this beer. You do not want anything to do with this beer. Give it to me. All right, let's try this. Let's see if this is gonna explode. It's like the last one. Yeah, man, it's hefty. It didn't explode though. Oh, all right, let's get a little one. See? All right, let's do this. It's dark. It's got that like reddish brown tint to the head too. Kind of scares me. Yeah, I got the cleanup on aisle three here. All right, let's see what uh, what Kip has told us here about this beer. Got to call out the design. Wizard stash here, designed by Brian Holter. Super, super cool. I mean, I guess it's like a mustachioed wizard. Okay, let's see what Kip has to say about this beer. So he says, we collaborated with Bottle Logic to create this decadent Imperial Pastry Stout in addition to it being barrel aged in Heaven Hill bourbon barrels for a year, this beer also features additional flavors of Madagascar vanilla bean and roasted pistachios. Wizard Stash pours a jet black brown with a frothy milk chocolate colored head. The head is dissipated, but you did see it. It was milk chocolate. It had a little tint, like almost it was like raspberry milk chocolate. And if anybody hasn't invented that yet, Someone please do, because that sounds really, really good. Like chocolate milk with like a little bit of frothy head with like a little bit of raspberry syrup. Not a lot, just a little. Sounds bomb. Okay, so let me give you what Kip's given us here. Rich aromas of cream, cocoa, Nutella, and Italian spumoni dominate the aroma. And many of these flavors follow through into the flavor. So let's see what we get on the nose. Yeah, I'm getting that nuts on the nose. Wait, nuts on the nose. I didn't say that. Yeah. I got the roasted pistachios that give it kind of like an earthiness that really rein in that like intense sweetness. Cocoa, cream, a lot of that. Ovaltine versus Nesquik. Wow, really nice nose. Super sweet, but not like over the top. God, I don't, I don't know. Like I kind of like don't need to drink this. I could just smell this the rest of the night because it is that good. Okay, let's get into it. I gotta taste it, I gotta taste it, all right. This is fantastic. I mean, the first thing you notice when you drink some of these big beers is mouthfeel. And again, coming through with a mouthfeel, it doesn't overwhelm. It's not like super thick. It's not like a complete syrup bomb. It's up there. The pistachios do something to this beer that kind of like counteract all that like big sweetness, that Madagascar vanilla, that lactose. Really like this beer a lot. This is such a good beer. I don't drink beers like this all too often. And honestly, I'm really glad there's only 12 ounces of it because this is one of those beers where when there is a, a 22 ounce bottle or you know, one of those bigger formats, oh man, it can get big. Unless you're sharing it with a couple people, it can be a little bit intense. I don't know if it's gonna come through in the camera here, but you can see that kind of like syrupy stuff that's kind of hanging out on the edges of this beer. And that is just what you come to expect for a pastry stout. Really, really well done. There was an interesting note from Kip in this that I really liked and I just remembered it because it's true. Body is silky smooth, finishing with a oaky dryness. Balance isn't a, really a word you use to describe a beer like this, but barrel blending has a way of rounding everything out. Wizard Stash is an extremely drinkable 12.8% stout and features a complexly deep flavor profile that keeps giving and giving as the beer warms. I rec recommend sipping and savoring this one. I was thinking of the balance on this beer because obviously balance is something you throw out the window when it comes to pastry stouts, but 
what they did with the blend is really nice. I do have to give Ella Ilworth's credit for kind of like coming up with something. And maybe the Bottle Logic guys helped with this as well because they are so well versed on the pastry stout that this is extremely well balanced. Really, really nice beer. Gotta give it up. Gotta give it up. Really good beer.